Folks, this is Fernando doing a, a quick video for Modern Survivalist, continuing with the topic of relocating and leaving the United States. I've said that I don't, I wouldn't leave the United States myself, that's why I don't recommend you doing so. I am about to publish a book called Bugging Out and Relocating, so I do believe it is something you should look into. So, I was just reading one of the comments from uh, one of the previous videos, someone using all caps letters seem you know always seems like screaming when it's all capital letters uh, the comment says uh, you don't seem to understand that we the united states may be on the brink of financial collapse and civil war that's why people are looking to um, ee where they can go so they are not uh, in the in the midst of craziness uh, understanding this may help you meet their needs better rather than telling them they will not like uh, the long lines i think we are more concerned about us and our families not being not being killed as far as ireland I, uh, as far as uh, ireland i do think americans want to be anywhere in europe you are getting all these emails because people need help being guided to get out of the way of what could be a total fall of the united states culture Maybe you could be a, uh, be of more help and give us more help and detail as to where to go to be safe. I do not think you really understand what is about to happen here. Long lines would be less of our concerns. Thanks, uh, dude. Uh, if I didn't think it would, it is important. I wouldn't have written a freaking book about it. It takes a long time to write a book, in case you haven't done it. And if I if I wrote a book called Bunging Out and Relocating, it's because I do understand what you, you think I don't understand. I do understand the need of, of having a, a plan B in case your country go, goes to hell. I, I cannot tell you if the United States will be collapsing, if there will be a civil war or not. Uh, I wouldn't even pretend to do that because I'm not the kind of guy that goes around pretending to have a crystal ball and I'm especially not a doomer. I'm not always trying to scare people uh, about running scared out of their countries and such. Uh, I quietly left my own country uh, because it had already gone to hell. It had already become, become a, a hellhole like the one you are fearing your own country may turn into one day. I understand that better than you. I understand that's a possibility. It could happen. It could happen to anyone, because that's just just the way it is. And it doesn't. And even if you're going through a great moment right now, five years from now it may be different. Ten years from now it may, may be completely different. Look, ten years ago, people from Argentina were running from the country because it was going to hell in a handbasket. It was bad. They were all going to Europe, especially they were all going to Spain. Spain was going through a boom where pretty much people were throwing away money. They, they just didn't know what to do with the, the amount of money they had. You would just go, walk into a bank, get loans for buying two, three houses. I talked with a cab driver in Spain that he was angry with the bank that allowed him to buy three apartments that he couldn't pay. I mean, he had three mortgages, three, 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 he bought three houses. A cab driver had three houses, uh, three apartments, maybe worth 200,000 euros each. He was angry that he was allowed to do that. So there was a, a time when Spain was, you know, paradise for anyone looking for a, a good financial uh, place to be in. You know, five years later, the, the place went, you know, went to hell. And that's just the way it is. You just cannot predict that. My point is, I understand what you're saying. It, could it happen? Could U.S. suffer a huge crisis, go to war, foreign <laughs> attack, given current events? Uh, I mean, to, even you know, especially these days, uh, you know, anything terrorist attack, large-scale terrorist attack that completely cripples the United States, that could happen. Um, civil war people I mean because of, of a, an economic event getting worse and 
um, a growing social unrest with more consequences, uh, foreign players taking advantage of that situation and uh, causing even more havoc. All this stuff could possibly happen. I don't think it's very likely, but it could. That's why I'm uh, providing this, this type of advice. That's why we're talking about these, th these things. Uh, I didn't quite understand if you say people want to go to Europe or not or, or my advice is have options and uh, the options are these countries that we're talking about which are sane logical places to be in uh, I'm not telling people to move to uh, Honduras or Belize or these crappy places that you may see, see in nice magazines and, and think okay I'm gonna be moving to this tropical paradise because I know for a fact that's crappy advice and that's not what I'm about. I'm not about giving people crappy advice. Uh, even though you may find lots of it, that's not what I do because I, I happen to know a little bit better. I happen to come from one of these crappy countries that are not ideal and not nearly as good as you think you are, uh, they are. And there's people that make money out of this. There's people, uh, I make money out of providing good advice that people actually uh, like and appreciate and they send me emails that, uh, saying uh, I, I read your book I love it and it, it, it was so useful that makes my day that makes me money as well it works great for me uh, some people are out there thinking okay how can we screw naive people out of their money we're gonna be selling them crap in Argentina, we're gonna be selling them crap in Nicaragua, Ecuador, buying property and developing it there and selling it to Americans that wanna leave the United States. We're gonna be scaring them into making a rush decision and profiting out of that. You'll be finding a lot of, lots of people doing just that. That's, that's not what I'm doing, but they're out there, they're doing it. Uh, selling you real estate in, in Argentina and Vietnam, Thailand or whatever, crap hole you could think of and I don't think that's a good choice I think that the best thing for you to do is find a good options safe stable countries there are plenty of them well maybe not plenty there are a few of them out there you know you are already living in US so that's not an option for you anymore you have Canada but you know, it's kind of close by. The Canada would be a great option if staying is the, in U.S. is not no longer an option. Canada is just across the border. It's a great place to live in, in spite of the things you may like or not about it. It's a great, it's a great country by all standards. By all standards, any ranking you look at in terms of quality of life, finances, economy, safety, Canada ranks very well in all of them. Great country to live in. Ireland is a good country, Australia is a good country, if you had to look at South America because that's the only place that hasn't been nuked in the entire planet which is kind of unlikely, uh, Uruguay, yeah sure, you know, I wouldn't go there because you have other places that we're talking about here that are better, that are safer, and are more stable uh, and you have these countries as, as options. You know, if the entire northern hemisphere is blown to bits, uh, Australia would be an option, New Zealand would be, those two would be options, sure. Uh, having those places and considering how would you move, you know, making that, mind, uh, that mental game and doing the, the, the research, finding ways of um, how would you move if you had to to go for that you know uh, which are the best places to um, to be in those countries that's what I've done that's what I'm gonna be publishing soon enough and that's what you can keep on researching yourself so if you're concerned about the United States going to hell and going into a civil war and or being nuked uh, I agree that it's a good idea to have a plan B uh, unfortunately because of all this stuff going on lately um, people are worried but the point I want to make is I understand what you're talking about I'm not nearly as naive as some of you guys think I am and um, I understand that the situation in US in the United States it's not great right now okay I'm trying to be nice so that's why I'm saying it's not great so if you want to be a little bit more pessimistic you, you can say that US is pretty crappy right now or worse and yeah sure I don't even want to get into politically speaking what could possibly happen in, in coming years 
Um, you know, it is what it is, guys. Uh, I'll be honest, uh, as I've been always, I'd still live in U.S. right now. If you give me a choice, I'd move to U.S. right now. Um, I I'd do it. If I had the option, I'd do it. I'd still move to U.S. and try to have a plan B in case things get even worse than they already are. That's my advice for you. That's what I would do myself. Folks, subscribe. Have a great day. More of this stuff coming up. See you in our next video.